How to Create a Hologram Effect in Premiere Pro To create such an effect, we need a video that simulates movements on a hologram. For example, like this. And the second video, which we will use as a hologram. First, you need to select the desired part of the video. Chose the desired piece and put it on the main layer where the effect should start. In the Effect tab, select Crop. With it, you can remove unnecessary parts of the video. The effect should appear after double clicking on the clock sheaf. At this moment, we put the top layer. Next, use the hotkey, R this is the rate stretch tool. We speed up or slow down different parts of the video. Here we will be guided by hand movements in the background video. Thus, we substitute all the movements in two videos into one scene. Let's see what happened. Great, the movements match the hologram. Go ahead. Select these parts of the video and right click. Nest. Now select this layer and start applying effects to it. Color balance RGB. This effect will help us create an artificial color for our hologram. 
By adjusting the three color indicators, choose the one that suits your best. The next effect is Wave Warp. In the effect settings, select Smooth Noise. Direction. Choose the value 0. And slightly increase the wave speed. This effect made the waves vibrate slightly in our image. Go back to the Effects tab and select Alpha Glow. And we get such a glow around our hologram. In the settings, set the values for glow and brightness. and choose a color. Great, half done. Go ahead. Find the basic 3D effect. This effect allows you to rotate the image in all three planes. We adjust the desired position and move on to setting up motion. Here we will place the image exactly above the clock and increase the size. and reduce the transparency. Press enter and render to see our effect in good quality. While it is running, you can subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the tutorial on working in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and much more. Now let's animate this effect. On the first frame, set keyframes and after 10 frames set with the same values. We return to the first points. Making the smallest scale. And place it on the starting point in the center of the clock. Also set opacity to zero. Okay, we have such an animation. But to add realism to it, you need to use certain settings for the keys. Let's put easy out for the first ones. And for the second there will be easy in. By clicking this arrow, you can see the dynamics of the animation. You can also correct it right there. Let's do the same with the opacity keys. Now our animation has non-linear dynamics.
By the same principle, we put dots at the end and move the last frame to the center of the clock. A very important part about all effects is sound design. The viewer plugin helps a lot with this, and a set of hyper. Here, in addition to a large number of graphic templates, there are very useful sounds. The link to which we will leave in the description. Our effect starts by hitting the button twice. Let's choose the first sound for it. and we expose the loudest part at the moment of hitting the button. By pressing the G key, we can immediately adjust the volume. Then we have the moment of opening the hologram. Sound from the whooshes section is perfect for this. Since this is a digital effect I want to add some more glitch sound. Further, according to the same scheme, we select the sounds for scrolling. Sound for clicking on mic. and copy the opening sounds to put at the end.
so simply and quickly with a set of sounds from Hyper we made the voice acting of Artifact. Then add music and render the video.